okay welcome back what I want to do is to go into a little math in regards to division and the vision of well I will refer to them as Z1 and Z2 okay you will refer to them as polar quite possibly as polar and Cartesian forms okay so bear in mind that that's the relationship too but for now we're just going to deal with simple division of z1 z2 z1 equals 1 plus j5 z2 equals j7 okay and here we have well we'll call, call it b at this stage 1 over z equal 1 over z1 plus 1 over z2 now remember this is similar to resistors in parallel okay and that is what the references here are saying to you okay and what we've done here we've put this taken this as we would for parallel resistors 1 over 1 plus j5 close bracket plus j7 and you can see that your values came from here and here okay now some of you will be quite expert at this but some of you won't be okay because I could remember being in class and trying to get my head around J notations and that is not an easy job subject to get your head around okay? Now here we have J7. Now I'm not going to go through this in too much detail because each of you will learn in your own way and you will need to find your own method of application that makes it more sensical to you to yourself. This is how I found it to work for me. It doesn't mean to say it's going to work for you in the same way, but by applying it and writing it out, you should be able to find your own level and method of learning okay and that is essential to find your own method of learning okay so j7 plus open bracket 1 plus j5 close bracket over open bracket 1 plus j5 close bracket over j7 here i've said we multiply okay and then it, it then becomes this j7 plus j5 over j7 plus j2 35 now I must have put here 35 here for a reason but I will tell you the honest truth I don't remember why. Now, what do we know that gives us 35? 5 sevens is what? 35. Okay. So somewhere along the line, say, I would have multiplied 5 times 7. Why? Because in order to take it out of the equation. Okay. And something else I've noticed here for myself as well let me just go up a little bit it's interesting how um how everything seems to be right when i was doing it but yet now you know here i have j2 when it should be j yeah <laughs> it's not j2 my apologies this is j squared 35 okay I made it to a little bit too large so it has thrown me out a little bit so I apologize okay this is j squared 35 okay so I repeat j7 plus j5 over j7 plus plus j squared 35 okay so these things happen especially when you put the work down and you haven't looked at it for some weeks and you come back to, to do it again it can be somewhat confusing so it 
confusion is not just your own privilege it can belong to others as well okay we then invert as with parallel resistive circuits and we have j12 plus 1 j7 plus minus 1 35 that then gives us j7 minus 35 over 1 plus j12 okay now try and see how these equation has worked okay and remember remember what i said here invert as with parallel resistive circuits okay now the best way of learning this is to write it out always write it out i cannot emphasize that enough to you to how important that is now we then have here j7 minus 35 open close brackets open brackets 1 minus j12 that should be close brackets okay over open brackets 1 plus j12 close brackets open bracket 1 minus j12 close brackets okay now that continues down to here now i don't want to tell you how to apply this process because it's important that you find your own level of application understanding okay so i'm not going to try to tell you how my way is, is the best way or is better than your way it's not it is a principle and a method of application and how or we interpret the information we have been given and you will have to interpret this for yourselves Okay. Continue J7 minus 35 minus J squared 84 plus J420. Now you need to look at how these came about. Okay, I'm not going to go through it all, all again, but you will see how it comes about similarly to how I got the 35 earlier in the equation. Over 1 plus J12 minus J12 minus j squared 144 now i i extend this a long way out because one of the things i found is is how did the, the lecturer get that number from there to there but what he does he, he misses out a lot because he makes an assumption that you have got those bits filled in for yourself which is not always the case so I've extended it stage by stage, okay? So I'm not going to run through all, all of this, but you can again see here, just a minus 35, minus, minus 1, 84, plus J420, over 1 plus J12, minus J12. Now you see, these two have cancelled out. Minus J144. And you, I've now, now written it out in j7 minus 35 minus minus 1 84 plus j420 over 1 minus minus 1 1 4 4 now you have to get yourselves acquainted with the math mathematical process as to how it is done and follow follow it on okay let me just go back a little bit make sure that it's i haven't gone too far ahead of, ahead of myself Okay. And we can start now that then leaves us with J7 minus 35 minus minus 184 plus J420 over 1 minus minus 1 144. Again, I've extended it further and reduced it even further still. J7 plus J420 minus 35 minus minus 84 now you have to see how we got these in place okay and remember a minus and a minus makes a plus and i hope i followed that process down all the way down myself but don't hold me hold me to it if i haven't okay i apologize in the early stages if for any errors i've made i'm not quite perfect yet but i'm working on it i'm working on it okay j7 plus j420 minus 35 minus minus 84 over 1 minus minus 1 144 now you can see 
a minus and a minus brings us to a plus. Okay, and that's what I'm saying here. Okay, and let's now take it down to the third stage. Okay. So that becomes J427 minus 35 minus minus 84 over 145. Why 145? How did I get 145? I mean, tell, go on, tell me, how did I get 145? What, what happened here? I'm going to leave that for you to figure out for yourselves. Now I then have this. Now remember, this becomes two, a kind of two equations in one. Here we now have 49 plus J427 over 145 equals 49 over 145 plus J427 over 145. And that gives us 0 0.3379 plus J, J at 2.944. Okay. Now again, you write this out for yourself so you know and understand the concept behind it. I'm not even going to try to tell you how important that is for you to understand it in your own conception. Let me move, just move back a bit, make sure I can get this all the way on in frame. Okay. And I'm just going. I'm just going to call this simply match division, regarding Z1 and Z2. Or for me, I will just call it division of, of the Z1 and Z2. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day. Bye bye.